This has been so highly anticipated ever since I moved into this apartment almost a year ago I've been dying to do a completed apartment tour because this is my first big girl apartment I had a short-term lease in Hawaii you guys know but I've been in this one for almost a year since I am soon moving <laughs> Everything will be coming down and be moved and taken out and put somewhere else I figured there's no time like now to show you guys what my apartment looks like So many people ask me about the decor and the furniture and where I got it all So I will be letting you guys all know my apartment is very girly very pink very beachy And it's all the things I love I truly love how I decorated this space and made it feel like my home I can't wait to show you this is my front door. This is where you enter in. So I'm going to be walking, showing you guys like you entered. So the point of view is going to be this way. Don't look at my toes, but as if you were like entering ah, my apartment. First thing you see is this. This is the full wide angle view. This is what she looks like. But I think I'm gonna start with the kitchen because I truly love this kitchen. Although it's not the biggest, it serves all the functions and this might be my favorite part of my whole apartment. Right next to the door is my fridge. It's a big black fridge. On top, I have this basket that holds all my snacks and a cute little cooler back there. Hiding, I also have my pink toolkit because I'm just a girl living on her own. It's not looking too full in there. We got leftover birthday cake, some pickles, kombucha, and lettuce. That's about it. <laughs> Everything in this apartment is little because my apartment is 400 square feet. Everything has to be smaller. My little sink and my little dishwasher, which actually the dishes. <laughs> just finished being washed. Thank goodness. Oh, it's cloudy. So we're gonna let those air out. And then right here we have my stove top where I actually film a lot of cooking videos. I post them on my TikTok and I've posted a lot of cooking on here because since I've moved into this apartment, I've low key become a chef. I have this amazing pan from our place. I do majority of my cooking on this thing. And then this little two top burner. I do not have an oven. That is the one thing that I don't have in this apartment. It's very sad in my next one. I will for sure have an oven. Homegirl just wants to make some cookies. <laughs> As you can see right here, here, I do have a microwave. I love this blue backsplash. I think it's so pretty and it matches the theme of my apartment really well. I have just some cooking stuff, utensils, salt and pepper. I have this beautiful candle that my Mimi got me and it smells so good. All of the decorations that you guys are gonna see are from Amazon and I have them linked on my storefront. This is not sponsored, but if you wanna shop majority of the stuff, it's linked in my Amazon storefront called apartment. And of course I have my pink little scrub daddy. I think this one's actually scrub mommy. <laughs> Above, is storage. I don't technically have a pantry. This is basically my pantry. I'm gonna kind of expose myself right here. I only have one of my favorite protein bars left. Spices, granola, green tea, and then I have my cups and bowls and everything up there. Not the best storage, but I make do with what I can. And in this one, it's also so random and low-key a mess. This, I keep a lot of extras, extra spices in there, extra paper towels, and then this is a bunch of like home improvement things. Now, if we go down to the bottom, I keep a lot of my extra cooking stuff stuff down here. No, it's not organized because I am 20 years old and I don't care that much. I have my air fryer, air fryer liners, bowls, blender. You know what? It works. That's all that matters is it works. Some glasses, soap, water bottles, protein powder, the basics. Moving on, I have a little island. I love this little island. It is perfect for hosting people. I can seat two people right there. Underneath, again, just more kitchen storage things. This is towels, silverware, which there's not a lot in here because it's in the dishwasher. This one a hot mess, but this is a lot of other cooking utensils. All of this is linked on my storefront. If you want measuring cups, if you like these straws or these knives, they're all linked. Above it, I have this print that I got from Home Goods. Looks like it's a little off center right now. I think it's a little bit crooked. Okay. Can't tell if that's better or worse. Print from Home Goods. It's just a beautiful beach print and I love it so much. It's one of the first things I found when I moved into this apartment. Here is the other side of the island. I have these bar stools that I actually bought off of Facebook Marketplace and this might be my best Facebook Marketplace find ever. They're the perfect height. They match the aesthetic of my apartment beautifully and I think I paid 30 bucks for two of them. Doesn't get much better than that. So I love these bar stools. I have these little mats that I got from Target. I think just in the dollar section. Right here I have my Jolly Rancher jar, which has been here since the start. And I've refilled it only once actually, because my friends love to come and eat all of them. Continuing this way, you get a sneak peek into my bedroom, but we're gonna go into the living room now. It's a little bit dark because the lighting is weird, but I have my TV on this wall and then underneath, it's not really a TV stand because the TV's hung on the wall. I don't know what you would really call this. I use it just as fun decoration and more book storage. I got these succulents that are real from Ikea. I painted this shark, her name's Sassy, and I have these 
these flowers that are so beautiful. I try to keep fresh flowers in my apartment all the time because they truly smell so yummy and they just bring the room to life. My parents got these for me if you didn't watch my birthday vlog. On the second shelf, I have a ton of books that I've read and that I love. I also have some cute little ducks which I change out depending on the season. This one says XOXO. It's a little Valentine's duck. And then these are from traveling. I have this one from Switzerland. This one from Greece. I love ducks. On the bottom shelf, more books, of course. I have some seashells and sand dollars from the beach that I've collected and a lot of board games because I love to play board games with my friends when they come. And this is a 50 inch TV. It's one of the smart TVs. I don't really know anything about it, but it works great and I got it on sale. Next to this, I have this big window. Along my windowsill, I keep a lot of fun things. It's lined with a lot of seashells. I have more flowers, beautiful flowers for my birthday. I bought these ones for myself actually for my birthday photo shoot and they're just so beautiful and pink. I have just cute little decor that I've found and collected. This is a really sweet candle from my management that they put my name on. Fake plants. This is a speaker. Another cute little cowboy hat. These are a bunch of shark teeth that I found on the beach. These are real shark teeth, guys, that I found on the beach. It's amazing. I love sharks. I have this beautiful cross that my Mimi got me. I painted this. I got this from Italy. So there's just like a lot of random things going on here, but I love it so much. These two shelves feel very much like Katie. And underneath is my AC unit. It's very ugly and bulky, but there's nothing I can really do about that. To the left, we have the main part of my living room. This is really like bright and happy. I have this couch. This couch is terrible. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's the most uncomfortable couch known to mankind. I tried my best. I decorated it with some cute pink pillows, squishmallow. These two blankets are from Amazon. And my Mimi got me this pillow for Christmas. Just a girl who loves sharks. When I move, I'll definitely be replacing this. But I really love this coffee table and rug situation I have going on. This coffee table and the rug are both on my Amazon. I sound so sponsored, but I promise I just love Amazon and everything came from there. Let's go this way. I have little coasters, candles. I have this bowl full of chocolates. It just has a bunch of Christmas chocolate in it. I won't eat this, so I'm hoping other people will. I have this journal and this book that I thrifted. Underneath, I also just have more books. I found this deck of affirmation cards. This is a book all about seashells. This is a plant book and a poem book. So they're just all things that I love and that are so special and also make really good decor. I love this coffee table. It matches my bar stools and that thing super well. And then we have my prized possession, my beautiful bookshelf, and I desperately need to get a second one. Like I said, whenever I move, I have lots of overflow. On top, I found this globe at, I think, TJ Maxx. Everybody knows how much I love to travel, so this is so special and so cute. I have this jelly cat, a beautiful sun that I got in Idaho, and I just got this adorable star one. It's little, but I got this in Colorado. Next to the bookshelf, I just have this lamp. It's not the greatest lamp. A lot of heat actually comes off of this. When I'm reading on the couch at night, it makes it very hot. But I do have this big bin of blankets down here. Both of these things are from Amazon. I love this bin. It's huge. It stores like five ginormous blankets in there. On my bookshelf, there's just a ton of books that I love. I have a ton of seashells as well. Just some little decor pieces. Like one of my cousins crocheted this for me. I think it's so pretty, so cute, and so girly. All right, coming back full circle. I think you guys know this corner of my apartment pretty well. When I film at my kitchen, it's typically facing back this way. I wish I could film this way, but the lighting would be backlit, so I typically do film <laughs> this way. My desk is kind of in the middle of my kitchen. I love this desk. It's custom built from Ikea. It's two sets of the Alex 5 drawers and then this like glass tabletop, and this has traveled with me to like three different houses. I will never get rid of this desk. Get ready mirror, my makeup bag, Lego flowers, and this I keep my to-do list on, and I have a beautiful journal. This little tripod for my phone when I'm filming TikTok, setting spray, and I also always keep a calendar of the whole year, month by month, on my desk. Honestly, I need to go through these drawers. Like, some of this stuff is old. That doesn't look good to me. This one has just, like, pens and markers. This is my medicine drawer, because I don't have a space for that, and I'm constantly sick or needing something. Here's the other side. I just have eyeshadow palettes. This is the drawer I use the most, and this just holds a ton of my filming and electronic equipment, camera lenses, SD cards, portable chargers, things like that. This desk holds all of my secrets. <laughs> and now we're here. This is a really ugly corner of my apartment. There was only so much I could do. I do have my shoe racks here. If you remember, I used to have two of them and I decluttered and downsized. So now I just have one. Do I love the way it looks? No. Is it practical? Yes. I do have lots of sneakers on here. It's not the most organized. These are like Converse, Jordans, workout sneakers, sandals, boots. It's low key a mess, but it works. Trash can, broom, of course it's pink. 
link. And these are all linked on my Amazon as well, in case you want to buy the same trash can as me. <laughs> you never know. Maybe, maybe you need a trash can. Actually, that one was kind of expensive, so I don't know if I would recommend that trash can. Now we have my big mirror. Again, this has traveled with me to so many different houses. It's from Ikea. I got it years ago. I love it because it's full body and so large and in charge. And I really think it helps open up my apartment and make it look bigger than it actually is. That's about it for this whole room. She's little, but so cute. Gets the job done. And I just feel homey here. I really do like the way I've decorated. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well then why are you moving, Katie? I've talked about it a little bit, but there's a lot of things wrong with my actual building and the maintenance. Stuff with the apartment and not actually my unit. It's been good for the past year, but I'm ready to make a change. With that being said, let's head into my bedroom. All right, now I would say this is where the magic happens, but I'd be lying. But I do love my bedroom, I really do. So this is where you walk into, okay, we're gonna ignore my dresser. I literally bought this dresser when I moved in and it already broke. So pretend that there is a drawer right there and that it's not broken. I don't have good luck with dressers. If you know, you know. I have this mirror. A lot of people ask me about this mirror. Zero clue where it's from. It has also traveled with me too many houses and it used to be gold and my father spray painted it white. So I have no idea. The dresser is from Wayfair, but I don't recommend because it broke. This room is just beachy themed. It's happy, it's bright, it's fun. I just have a few little decorations on here and then my YouTube plaques are hanging. This just makes it so personal and special. Comment down below if you guys remember this era, 80s corner, in my vlog channel that I haven't posted on in forever. I also have a very large window in here with the shade that goes up and down and then I have my little dresser nightstand. This was actually a gift from a family friend, so I'm not sure where it's from, but it has a little hole down here and I keep some stuffies and my laptop. I just have this lamp from Amazon, the book that I'm currently reading, my Alexa. Oh, dang it. How did she hear that? Literally whispered chapstick glasses, you know. And now we have my actual bed. The bed frame is from Ikea and I have these really pretty silk blue pillowcases, but the silk pillowcase is also from Amazon and I have lots of shark stuffies. I actually won this one at an arcade. This one's also from Ikea. This one is from Target. So feel free to go get your own shark stuffies. These prints that I have hanging above my bed. These three are actually from the North Shore in Hawaii when I was there. I bought them from a small artist and I love them. These are all places that I visited and loved when I lived there. Then I have these two little, they're kind of like license plate signs and those are both from Amazon as well as this little LED light and they just match the blue, the blue tones. And above my bed, I feel like you guys have seen this before. I DIY'd these canvases with seashells that I collected from the beach. I put it in a YouTube video so you guys can go back to my moving and decorating vlogs. I basically put down this putty tack stuff and then attached all of these seashells to these prints and hung them up on my wall. I DIY'd those bad boys and I am very proud of them. They will be following me to wherever I go next. I just hung up my two cowboy hats for some decoration, tie in the browns, bring it back in. I just love my bedroom. I think it's so cute. It is very little and that is the reason that my desk is not in here. If we follow in through the door to the right, we have my closet. Above my closet, I have this little surfs up print. My mound of dirty laundry that I need to <laughs> Please ignore, okay? It's been a long month. I need to do laundry. I'm gonna show you guys my closet. This is it. It is very jam-packed because because they're kind of small, which is okay. It's not the prettiest thing to look at. We have some hanging clothes right here, little bins of like my workout clothes, and then whatever the heck that is up there. This other closet is worse. If you're judging in the comments, please don't. I'm about to move. <laughs> Oh, I have my hats right here, random stuff, sweatshirts. It's a mess, okay? We're gonna ignore. Pretend you didn't see that, please. My parents will be very disappointed that I show the internet that. If this channel is anything, it's real. So I will show you my messy freaking closet because I know your closet is messy too. And if it's not, I'm incredibly jealous. <laughs> Moving on, we have made it to the last room in my apartment and this is the bathroom. Leading into the bathroom, I have this surfboard wooden thing, but I got this from Target. And then I have these little hangers that I got from Amazon. They just stick to the wall. So so it's like renter friendly. And they're actually what I use to hang up all my hats as well. And they're what I use to hang up those hats. So if you want like hat hangers, they work really well. I don't know if that's what they're used for, but again, linked on my Amazon. On my bathroom door, I have this little hook hanger, just my bath towel. This is like a little wrap around thing. It's so cute, it has my name on it. And then this is a shower cap. So the lighting in my bathroom is not the greatest. It's gonna be a little orange, but I'm gonna show y'all anyway. You walk in and here she is, the beautiful overview. Okay, okay. We'll start right here. I 
just hung up these two little shelves and this is mostly for decor, basic bathroom necessities, cotton swabs, cotton pads. I also bought this print off of Amazon and then the frame, I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. I can't remember, but I love that frame. Just like ties in the blues, the pinks, surfy, beach girly. Here's my beautiful toilet. I don't think you guys need to see that in HD, but if you wanted to know, I do have all the girly feminine products for anyone who needs when they come over. And I need easy access, so it's my apartment and I can do what I want. Then we have my little mirror situation. This is it. This is my bathroom mirror. It's like three little sections. It never really bothers me, but when people come over, they think it's weird. It's because they open up. I store products in here, dry shampoo, my cellar water, perfume, deodorant, my lotions, you know, the essentials. Here's my sink. I have my Trader Joe's hand soap that smells so good. Electric toothbrush, hairbrush. I will not open this drawer for you though because it is actually the worst out of anything I'm showing you. Just know that there's toiletries down there. But then we come back around and get to my shower. I bought this shower curtain from Home Goods. It's a little too short, as you can see. It doesn't go all the way to both ends, but we make do. It's okay. This bath mat says get naked, also from Amazon. Here's my shower. Has the same blue tiling as the kitchen, so I like that it ties that back in. And there's no shelves, so I had to kind of work with what I got. Bought this bathroom shelf. I think also from TJ Maxx or Home Goods, but it's worked perfectly fine for me. Doesn't bother me. Holds all my products. That is my shower. It's a great size. Then I have my robe hanging up, some towels, decorative storage shelf. I don't know, but I love this thing. I bought it from Target and I put it all together. I have a candle, just some cute decorative pieces, another duck, of course, extra toilet paper. This is actually from the dollar store and that is from Hobby Lobby. Another candle. It's low-key a little dusty. <laughs> Need to clean that off. More toilet paper and then this actually holds a lot of extra toiletries and storage stuff too. So that's my cute little pink girly bathroom and I love her. She's very me and I'm very her. Y'all, I think that is it for this apartment tour. I think I showed you everything. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked the way I decorated it. And if you didn't, that's okay. We don't have to have the same style and the same taste. I am going to keep the same like aesthetics and use all this stuff to decorate wherever place I live next. So don't think that it's going to waste. I'm gonna enjoy the next few months that I have living here before I have to take it all down and start from scratch again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. My name's Katie. I post a lot of fun content over here and across all my other socials, which are just Katie underscore McKenzie. I post lots of my TikTok and my Instagram. Be sure to follow those. Always remember to be kind to everyone and yourself. Hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye, y'all.